Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, we're taking a look at the Diamond Select 15th Anniversary Series 6 Ghostbusters 2 We're Back Race Dance Deluxe Action Figure with Accessories and Diorama Pieces. So looking at the box, as you can see, it's a nice little clamshell. Got a piece of cardboard here that's uh, either taped or glued to the side. Shows the Ghostbusters 2 logo, 15th Anniversary Diamond Select logo. We're back, Race Dance Deluxe Action Figure with accessories and diorama pieces. Got a nice window there to Race Dance. Let's go ahead and turn it to the side. And as you can see, you got the Ghostbusters 2 logo. A nice depiction of Dan Aykroyd as Race Dance there on the side. Ghostbusters Series 6, We're Back, Race Dance Deluxe Action Figure with Accessories and Diorama Pieces. Five years after saving the world from an incursion by Gozer the Gozerian, the Ghostbusters have fallen on hard times. Sued for property damage and barred from investigating the supernatural, the four heroes have gone their separate ways and are widely believed to be frauds. Ray now owns an occult bookshop and performs at parties with Winston. But an incident involving their first client, Dana Barrett, causes them to resume investigations, and what they uncover could have catastrophic consequences for New York City and for the world. This 7-inch scale action figure is based on the 1989 feature film Ghostbusters 2 and features multiple points of articulation. It also includes accessories and pieces of a larger diorama. Collect all 15 figures in series 6 through 10 to build the front of the Ghostbusters firehouse sculpted by Gentle Giant Studios. As you can see there, we have the series 6 race stance. We also have geared up Louis Tully. I'd like to get him at some point. We have Vigo the Carpathian. And then we have the front of the firehouse. And then all the credits down there. I picked this up the other day from Primary Colors Retro Relics in, D in Lincoln, Illinois. Mickey over there is a great guy. He has tons of stuff, relatively decently priced. Uh, great prices over there. I, I just, every time I go in there, I'm surprised at what I can get for the price. Uh, he had this for... About $20, which you cannot beat that at all. Go online, they're running anywhere from $40 to $60. I've seen them up to about $75, if not more. So great price. This was the only one he had in there from the Diamond Select 15th anniversary. I'd really like to get the rest of the collection, though. I really love the, uh, the dark colored jumpsuits. Now... Online, they're referred to as the navy blue jumpsuits, but I've never seen them as navy blue jumpsuits. I've always seen them as dark gray, charcoal, or black jumpsuits. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. If you see them as navy blue or if you see them as charcoal colored. Um, but yeah, I, I really like this. If once I construct my own Ghostbusters jumpsuit and proton pack it, it's going to be the charcoal color I, I definitely like those a lot better than the tan so let's go ahead and open this guy up and take a look inside all right so first thing you'll see right off the bat is this little booklet here we have Ghostbusters licensed product from Diamond Select Toys. For more information or to order product, visit DiamondSelectToys.com. This was on the inside of the clamshell, just as you tear into it. Got an order form there. Very cool. You know, I have I am one of the few people, few Ghostbusters fans. Who have never owned a Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Uh, I never could find him growing up as a kid. Um, 
It was just, he was my grail, you know. Um, my friend, a uh, friend of mine had two of them. Uh, him and his brother both had one. And <laughs> it, it was pretty cool. I mean, it didn't have a, a lot of articulation, but it was pretty cool nonetheless. And then we have the instructions for the diorama. Right there. Front and back, very cool, very nice. Then we have, which comes in its own little clamshell, we have one of the doors to the firehouse. As you can see, it does open up. Very cool. Uh, this part's on hinges as well. It'll open up this way, or you can open it up through the door. Very cool. Definitely going to have to uh, collect them all to assemble this thing. Now let's go ahead and take a look at Ray. So first thing you'll notice as you're getting this guy out of the package is he just does have a twisty tie holding him on the back. So let's go ahead and undo that. We'll pop him out as carefully as possible so we don't break him. And we'll go ahead and go over everything. All right, guys. So here we have Ray Stands out of the package. Uh, one thing I want to note is these little gloved hands. Uh, the upper part of the glove does come off. Uh, which, as you can see, this one slid off when I took it out of the package. Now I can't find it. I'm going to have to look for that. So uh, until then, I'm just going to have to swap these other upper pieces out. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and zoom in here on Ray. There we go. As you can see... Ray really has that kind of shit-eating grin on his face. Uh, there's no way around it. Uh, very cheesy grin. Now, <clears throat> one thing I might note. Now, one thing I might note is the proton wand. I pretty much had to just balance it on his pack right there. It, there is not a place for it to connect. Uh, so as you can see, it just fell off, uh, which is kind of disappointing. Um, I really would have liked to be able to attach it so that, you know, he could hold the trap and the PKE meter if needed or a radio uh, and not have it just like laying on the ground. So, <clears throat> the... Proton pack. Um, <clears throat> it does not come off. It is a fix. It is fixed to the back. So you cannot take that off. It's not like the uh, new, the 2006 series of figures where you can just slide it on and off. Uh, it is actually attached uh, if you try to take it off you're going to rip one of those straps which is pretty disappointing I would have liked to uh, be able to take that off uh, now <clears throat> his radio can fit right there in his belt uh, PKE meter. Let's see, no. Does not look like it can fit really anywhere. Nope. Uh, <clears throat> now, the hands that he comes out of the package with cannot hold any of the uh, equipment. As you can see, they're open hands. So you have to pop them out just like that. And we'll go ahead and use the upper piece of this glove. Let's 
Let's hope it looks good. There's that one. Okay. Oh. Really tight. Which is kind of what you want, but at the same time, something you don't want because you could easily break the pegs. Now, I'm not going to swap out any of the other hands because I don't want to run the risk of breaking any of the hands. But the, the elbow pads do move, which is kind of irritating, kind of cool, because you can get them just right. Um, it is hard to get him get his feet just right and balanced they are on a hinge as you can see right there so there we go that helps that that's okay um but like I said, uh, there's no place on his utility belt for his PKE meter. So you've pretty much got to hang his proton wand, uh, kind of balance it on his proton pack, and maybe, or give, do it one-handed, I guess. But there he is holding his... Proton one and PKE meter, and the PKE meter is pretty small. It's <clears throat> oh, Go and stand him back up. Here is the PKE meter, very small, and it fits in his hand just like that. And the arms of the PKE meter are very flexible. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and balance them like that. Uh, now his other accessories are the proton stream, which attaches to the proton wand. Just like that. There's a slot on the side, so it fits over the red wire. Uh, also, he has his Santa hat, which, let me see if I can get this fit on there. There we go. Put that down. And it does hang off to his right hand side. Uh, other accessories are the trap. As you can see here I wouldn't pull it too much because it is kind of a really soft plastic you could easily tear it the trap does not open up but very cool accessory nonetheless you get with it you get five extra right hands and three extra left hands. Now for comparison, we're going to put him up next to the 2006 series Ray stands right there. As you can see, he's about an inch taller. Uh, you, we're also going to put him up against the real Gus, Ghostbusters, Winston and Egon. Uh, from a couple of the uh, different lines. I also got those two at Primary Colors Retro Relics as well. Uh, he had them in little uh, plastic bags. Uh, they did not have the accessories with them. They were loose, but I digress. So let's go ahead and move these guys out of the way. We'll go ahead and take off 
his accessories and we'll show you the articulation. All right, so for articulation, his foot does have an ankle joint, just does, it moves up and down, just like so. Uh, you have a double knee joint, which is really tight. God, that's tight, I'm almost afraid that it's gonna break. Okay, double knee joint, which he can get his leg all the way back. Uh, but be careful, it is really tight, could easily break it. You have a thigh swivel, ooh, that's tight too. Could also be because it's been in the packaging for so long. You have a thigh, thigh joint there on both legs. You have waist swivel. You have an ab crunch, which, you know, it doesn't move that much, but what are you going to do? His head does move up and down. Not too much, though. You can't raise his head too much. Very thick ball joint, it looks like. Turn it side to side. Uh, you might be able to get him to go all the way around, but I wouldn't chance it because you're risking popping his head off because of the proton pack straps. Uh, his arms do all go all the way around. They do swivel at the elbow, elbow joint. It's a very, very soft ratchet. Uh, like I said, his elbow pads do move. Uh, wrist articulation. Uh, the belt is very loose on him, which is very nice. So let's go ahead. We'll put his hat back on. Um, we'll go ahead and have him one hand the proton wand. Set it down at his side there. We'll have him hold on to the PKE meter. Just like so. And then, oh, that's where the trap goes. The trap, as you can see, there's a slot on the back of the trap. It attaches to the belt just like that. Now we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and coil this back up. Hang it just like that. We'll attach the trap. If I can get it back on there. There we go. We'll attach it just like that. There you go. Bob's your uncle. And there you have it. The 15th anniversary Diamond Select Series 6 Ghostbusters 2. We're back. Ray Stance. Very cool figure. Uh, very good likeness. Very good sculpt. Uh, there's a few alterations I would make to it personally. Uh, I would allow for a smaller ball joint at the head uh, so that he can look up a little bit more and turn his head a little bit more to the sides. I would definitely make it to where the proton wand could attach to the pack. Um, because I don't really like that you just kind of got to hang it there. Um, <clears throat> so, and I would leave the top parts of the gloves, uh, attached to the lower hand, to the hand. Uh, I would not make them separate pieces. Uh, very easy to lose as I told you I lost mine taking it out of the package. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you tune in again to another Come Again TV episode of Toy Review. And I hope you guys take care. Have a good one, everyone.
If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, make sure you check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comic Getting TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.